Hi, hope you're doing well. Um, I'm from Bay Street School and a lot of uh, students have been writing to us, uh, you know, discussing one particular concept called replication, which is from derivatives section. And uh, it's basically it gets introduced in level one, CFA level one. And today we are going to give you a simple hack so that you are able to do any replication problem without any problem. So that, that sounded very funny, but yeah, that's what we intend to do. So we're going to give you a hack which tells you how to solve a problem. However, we don't want you to just understand the hack and not understand the underlying concept. But this video is to get the hack to you so that you're able to tackle any question on CFA level one. Say it's a difficult uh, difficult area for you and you really don't understand it thoroughly, then, then you can use this hack to answer any question. So the hack is simple. What we are saying is replication means you replicate one particular asset through a combination of two or more assets, right? Or any instruments, right? So we are trying to get the payoff of one asset using some other assets in the market and the hack is simple what we what we call this is a simple equation don't take it as a literal equation this doesn't mean anything this is just trying to tell you what can be reproduced from what other assets so the equation is something like asset is equal to risk-free investment plus forward commitment or forward contract so this is a simple equation and the signs here you as you can see are all positive right and these sign mean either this is a long or a short a positive refers to a long and a negative refers to a short so just let me rewrite this again asset is equal to risk free plus a forward contract right so what i mean by this is if i am positive sign here is mean this means a long asset so a long asset is equal to a long risk free and what a long risk free and a long asset mean i'll come to in a minute and is equal to a long forward so the left hand side is equal to a right hand side which means if you own an asset your long an asset is the same as you could re replicate this position with a combination of these two which is longing a risk-free investment and longing a forward contract. Now, what does long and short mean for each one of them? It's very simple. Long asset means just buying the asset or, and short means selling the asset, right? So it's as simple as that. And assets can be of many types, but just trying to simplify it, a selling. So a positive sign is buying, a negative sign is selling or shorting as we call it, or buying is also called as long like long right this is simple some students get confused in this now what does a long risk free mean just take it as a simple buying a bond right so when you buy a bond what happens are you lending the money or are you borrowing the money now that's also something that some of the people who are not from a finance background get confused on so a long risk free means buying a bond which pays you a risk free rate now, buying a bond means you buy the bond. So you pay the price. What is the price? Is the money that you're lending, right? So you're actually lending the money, right? Just to clear everything. Longing a risk-free or longing a bond is lending capital. Similarly, if the sign was negative, this would have meant short a bond at risk-free rate, which means borrowing capital and we will see in a minute how this works when we change the equations to move these components to the left or right long forward is basically getting your forward exposure right if you buy a forward you intend you basically at the settlement you are paying the price pre-agreed price uh, for that asset right so longing a forward is similar to buying the asset in the future in future at a pre-agreed price 
and I just want to make sure you're able to see everything and if you're not then I'll bring this in oh yeah so the future word is missing for you right so future at a pre-agreed price and similarly shorting a future if there was a negative sign here shorting a future would mean a forward or a future let's call it a forward since we've been calling it a forward is basically selling a forward selling an asset at a pre-agreed price price in the future future now let's tinker with this equation a bit so that you can solve all kinds of problems that make their way to CFA level one so as we said asset is equal to risk-free plus forward contract right so if I have to replicate long asset which is a positive sign here I have to long a risk-free bond which means as we saw earlier if I just move a little bit upwards a long risk-free asset a long bond is equivalent to lending capital so if I lend capital at risk free and I long a forward then I am in the same position as owning or longing an asset so it's as simple as that right so I lend capital and I took a forward exposure so I get to the current long asset position so if I move this equation a little bit like I move components from here to here uh, so what I get is a minus risk free is equal to a forward long forward right positive sign here this is a positive sign this is a positive sign so we are borrowing capital here as we saw earlier right we're borrowing capital if we go up a short bond is a borrowing capital right so we are borrowing capital and we are buying asset and we get a forward exposure right long forward exposure so just to also understand this from a conceptual point of view you borrow capital you use that capital to buy the asset so day one what what went out of your pocket is nothing similarly in a forward in the general theoretical sense of a forward you don't pay anything upfront on day one but you get the exposure of a asset because risk-free is a constant rate asset is the one that is changing along with the way asset grows right or or declines and forward is similar you don't pay anything upfront and you get the exposure of an asset so this is simple now let's do another thing like I'm replicating my earlier equation say somebody asks you in the CFA level on exam how do you create a short forward and this is one of the examples in the curriculum book as well so like what I will essentially do is I'll move this on the other side and move the asset on this side so minus forward which means a short forward is equal to minus asset plus risk free minus asset we all know what is a minus asset we are shorting the asset we are selling the asset and what is a plus risk free as we earlier saw it's basically I am lending money at risk free rate at risk free rate or you could say buy a bond at risk free rate right long bond risk free rate so that's how you can create a short forward exposure now if somebody says how can you create a risk-free exposure from an asset and a forward then I'll do the same thing like I'll put my equation forward which is my simple equation like I had risk-free earlier now I have this risk-free on this side but don't get confused I'll move the, it's the same equation so I'll move the forward to this side so an asset minus a forward is equal to a long risk free rate exposure like a long bond exposure so what does this mean I will buy the asset and I will short the 
forward. I'll get a risk-free rate. Now, just to see it, I did not do anything mathematically or graphically here, but just to see it, it's very simple. Buying an asset means you are moving with the asset price like this. And buying, shorting a forward means you are going down like this with the forward. So when both come together, say I'm putting the other line here, right? This is the forward, short forward exposure. This is a short forward. This is a long asset. What you get is essentially this. This is a straight line. It doesn't look like a straight line, but this is the combination of the two, which is a risk-free rate. So you can create a risk-free asset combination of buying a an asset and shorting a forward so just remember this equation and you can create any exposure from this asset is equal to risk free plus forward contract positive signs means long negative signs means short long and short of asset you very well know long and short of forward you very well know long of risk free is basically buying a bond so you are lending money and short of risk free is that you're borrowing money so those things are clear so long you're lending money short you're borrowing money just remember this from a long and short bond perspective whenever you are buying a bond you're lending money whenever you're shorting the bond you're borrowing money so this is it. Keep this in mind. You'll be able to solve any question related to creating any exposure through the concept of replication. And some of these questions do make it to the level one exam. So it's an important topic and often a very confusing topic. So hope you got some clarity here and you'll remember this for your exams. Thank you very much for tuning in.